Hi guys and welcome to a new video. Today we've got a cooler from Be Quiet, namely the Pure Rock Slim. I'm really excited to have this cooler as it is Be Quiet's first budget cooler. And as Be Quiet always makes very good coolers, I think this cooler is gonna be very promising as well. To start off we've got the box of the cooler which looks pretty much the same as any other Be Quiet coolers box. At the back you can find the technical specifications. So let's unbox this. When we open up the box we first encounter the heatsink. Actually it's quite a bit bigger than I expected. Then we see the fan and the user's manual. Some packaging material and at least a bag with fan clips and a mounting bracket. The cooler including the fan is 82mm thick. 97 mm wide and 12.5 cm high. This means that this cooler, although it has a 92 mm fan on it, is quite big. Therefore it won't fit in every small form factor case. The weight of this cooler is 385 grams and it's completely made out of aluminium. It also has 3 copper heat pipes. The maximum TDP of this cooler is 120 watts. The fan included with this cooler isn't just a cheap fan. It's one of Be Quiet's own Silent Wing PWM fans. It has a diameter of 92mm and a maximum fan speed is 2000 rpm. The loudest this fan can get is 25.4 decibels, which is very silent. In terms of looks, you can clearly see that this is a Be Quiet cooler. The cooler looks very finished with its brushed aluminium top plate with the logo of Be Quiet on it. The caps on the heat pipes also look really well. The installation of this cooler, both for AMD and Intel, is very easy. The mounting system is just the same as the mounting system on the Intel and AMD stock coolers and the thermal paste is pre-applied as well. Only the mounting of the fan with the fan clips is a bit harder and you have to make sure you don't bend any of the fins. And after all, the performance of this cooler is also very good. When using this cooler on an Intel i7-6700K, those are the temperatures. In this case, delta T means the difference between the CPU temperature and the room temperature. So altogether, this cooler is absolutely amazing. But just for some people. If you're having a CPU with a TDP which is not too high and you're not planning to overclock, or just a little bit, this cooler is perfect. It combines perfect temperatures with a very good look and it's also dead silent. But if you're using such an AMD processor on which you can bake an egg, which you also overclock, I won't recommend this cooler. It will still look good, it will still be silent, but the temperatures will be way too high. So that wraps it up for this video. If you like this video, make sure to smash 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 the like button. And if you didn't like this video, make sure to subscribe, as you may like some other videos on the channel. And I'll see you in the next video.